Hello and welcome to Sandpoint Institute Badagami. This is Priyanka. So in this particular video, I will be giving you the information about EMTech that is about higher studies. And this video is for the students who are willing to go for EMTech. So either you can be in third year or final year or you might have completed engineering. And now if you have plans of going for EMTech, either for uh, IITs or NITs or any of the colleges in Karnataka, then this video is for you guys. So when we say about EMTech, obviously you need to write certain exams. So if you want to go for EMTech in IITs and NITs, then you have to write gate exam. And if you want to go for EMTech in any of the colleges in Karnataka, then you have to write PGCET exam. So I will be giving you the detailed information about both the exams now. And I will be giving you the reason ki why I am making this video now. Alright, so now first let's discuss about GATE exam. The full form of GATE exam is Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering. And this exam you have to compulsorily write if you want to go for EMTech in IITs or NITs, remember that. And this exam is conducted yearly once which will be in February 1st and 2nd Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so February 1st Saturday and Sunday second saturday sunday every year this exam will be conducted and recently gate 2022 for civil engineering exam got over on 12th february and this gate 2022 was conducted by iit kharagpur you have to remember that every year one of the iits will conduct this gate exam that is they will take the responsibility of conducting gate exam and for civil engineering the exam got over on 12th february 2022 and in next gate, that is gate 2023, will be conducted by IIT Kanpur. Remember that. And the official answer key for this previous gate exam, that is gate 2022, will be released on 21st February 2022. And the final answers or the final result will be announced on 17th March 2022. So gate exam hang schedule right from the date of the notification till the date of the result announcement entire schedule will be made prior but this usually don't happen in Karnataka exams so we have to do something to get the schedule prior so that the students can plan their future accordingly so now before knowing the exact pattern of gate exam let's understand the benefits of this exam because whenever you want to write any of the exams you need to know the benefits. Barin and friend apply madanat madudu and senior helanat madudu. That is not the right thing. So whichever exam you write, either our government exams, PGCT exam, gate exam, IES, IAS, first you have to know the benefits. So first let's understand the benefits of writing gate exam. The very first benefit is as I told you earlier, you can do MTEC in IITs and NITs only through gate exam and there will be no any other separate entrance exams for this. Remember that and obviously if you do MTech in IITs and NITs, you will be having that tag and you will be having very good professional career in your future and lifetime you will be called as IITN or NITN and there are many other benefits when you join IITs and NITs because the placements are little better in IITs and NITs compared to any of the colleges in any of the states actually and along with that if you are doing mtech in iits then you can do project work that is in second year you will be having project work so you can do project work in european countries or european universities through that scholarship all right and this facility is only in iits so you abroad kogi project work maadabodu and all the university expenses fees everything will be taken care by the respective iits only and as you guys know, lot of uh, government project works and all will be carried out like consultancies work will be carried out in NITs and IITs. So you will be getting exposed to those live projects as well. So now the next question comes is how many marks you have to score if you want to enter into NITs. See, this gate exam is conducted for 100 marks and out of 100 marks, you need to score certain marks so as to call so as to be called yourself as gate qualified student so previous gate that is in gate 2021 for general merit the cutoff was just 29.2 marks so out of 100 29.2 marks bitandra then you will be called as gate qualified students 
and if you were from obc then 26.2 was the qualifying marks for previous gate exam that is gate 2021 and for sc st and ph so it was 19.4 marks so ishtu nimu marks bittandre then you will be called as gate qualified candidates so now if you just qualify gate exam then you will not get admission in iits or nits so for entering into nits you need to score around 40 plus marks out of 100 and if you want to enter into iits then you need to score 55 plus marks out of 100 to enter into iits and these marks whatever i have told it varies with respect to which branch you choose see there are various branches in civil engineering when you go for mtech either structures environmental water resource highway engineering transport in, transportation engineering environmental engineering gis gps remote sensing so there are more than 15 branches in civil engineering so it depends on which branch you choose which iit you choose which nit you choose but for entering into nit is the safe score is around 40 45 plus marks and for iit is 55 to 60 marks and even if you want to do mtech in IIS you have to write gate exam and you need to score somewhere around 60 plus marks in gate exam remember this now assume that you you have just qualified the exam that is somewhere around 30 marks you have scored so now will your result will go waste no it will not go waste because you will be writing gate exam in february you will get result in the march and when you want to go for pm tech in any of the colleges in karnataka that exam will be somewhere in the month of July, August or September. So that time you can use this gate result. So this gate result is valid for three years. Remember that. So if you have just qualified gate exam, then when the PGCET application will be released that time, you just need to fill the PGCET application form. You need not write the exam. All right. Remember, so you need not write the exam. And once the results gets announced, that time the students whoever have qualified gate exam their rank will come within 2000 ranks in pgct so in pgct in karnataka on an average around 8 to 9000 ranks will be generated including all the branches of engineering so if you have qualified gate exam then your rank will come less than 2000 so the students who have got somewhere around just 30 to 33 marks their rank was somewhere 120 rank or 130 rank out of 8000 remember that and the next advantage in pgct through gate is you will get the stipend of 12400 per month and this stipend you will get even in iits nits also remember so you need to pay the college fees but whatever like stipend you will get per month obviously that will take care of all your expenses of two years so 12400 per month andra for two years it will come more than two and a half lakhs so your mtech will be totally free and this will not be a burden on your parents remember that so this stipend even you will get in any of the colleges like aict approved college when you join through pgct through gate category in karnataka okay so these two are the advantages for going for mtech in either karnataka or any of the iits and nits in our country Next benefit is if you want to fly abroad and do MS in abroad, two universities in Singapore and two universities in Germany provide certain seats for gate qualified students. So even that provision is there and even there also you will get the stipend but that stipend will not be just 12,400 because you know expenses in abroad is more so considering that expenses you will be getting stipend accordingly. And the next benefit is if you score around 60 plus marks, then you have the high chances of joining PSUs that is public sector undertaking. So these are all the central government jobs like Indian oil, Bharat Petroleum and all. So you can join any of GAIL and all. So all these PSUs take admission only through GATE. Remember that and they give high preference for your GATE results rather than group discussion or interview something like that so most of the students like who are very strong technically they write gate exam rather than going for mtech and all they write gate only for joining these premier psus only and where your salary will be in the beginning 60 plus okay your salary itself will be 60000 plus per month in the beginning and they don't ask any experience remember that 
these are the only jobs which don't ask any experience but they ask your very good gate results and the applications of these psus will be released in the month of december jan feb march something like this and some of the psus consider even 3 year gate results also 2 year gate results also and some of them consider very fresh gate results and along with the salary of 60000 plus you have lot and lot of allowances which comes more than 80k per month so if you are very strong technically then i suggest psus will be the best option for you guys and your life will be settled because they are central government jobs so remember that and the next benefit is phd because our videos whichever are available in our sandpoint on stream so lot of faculties also follow the videos and lot of the candidates who have done mtech and who are into private jobs or teaching still they are, they are following lot of our videos so guys if you want to do phd in iits or nits usually they prefer your gate results remember that so if you have qualified gate exam just qualifying is enough okay in some of the nits and iits so if you have qualified gate exam then for phd your first starting salary or the stipend will be around 25 to 28k per month so this is really a good amount so 28000 em per month sigtati for 2 years after 2 years you will get more than 32 to 35k per month as the stipend for doing phd and you will be having the tag that you have done phd in iit is and definitely this tag or the phd degree will definitely help you in any of the education institutes like colleges and even they will be helping in many of the private jobs also because if the team or if the company has any research team and all obviously they will be preferring you guys because you are from iit and all obviously that will have the add on advantage for the company also and as i told you earlier this iitn or nitn tag will help you lifetime in one or the other way so these are all the wide opportunities through gate exam and no other exam has these many benefits remember that if you write pgct exam then you will go for mtech if you write any of our kpsc exams like pwd wid and all then you will be going for the job but this is the only exam which is having the benefit of doing mtech in india ms in abroad even mba also like niti mumbai is there who will give you the degree of mba and there are very good placements and the average placement itself the salary will be somewhere around 15 lakh per annum for the fresher and again day take through gate only and along with this you have the benefit in phd and even you have the benefit of central government jobs okay so this is the only exam which is having lot and lot of benefits but in karnataka our students gets scared of this exam considering that this is difficult exam yes i agree this is one of the difficult exams only but that is the reason this is having so many so many benefits see through no exam you will get this much stipend just for mtech you are getting 12400 per month just imagine for phd you are getting 25000 stipend so hence they have to keep the exam level standards little high and that is the reason i am making this video now because this previous gate exam got over just last week last saturday and sunday so you are having one year time from this day till you write the next gate exam okay so there are around 13 subjects in gate exam so engineering mathematics comes for 13 marks aptitude comes for 15 marks and rest civil engineering subjects comes for 72 marks out of 100 marks so again in that environment comes for around 12 to 14 marks geotechnical engineering comes for 12 to 14 marks surveying around 4 marks irrigation and hydrology together around 5 marks som around 4 marks steel structures 2 marks ctm around 2 marks okay then uh, fluid mechanics around 4 to 5 marks then structural analysis around 2 to 4 marks rcc around 5 marks so these are all the like uh, weightage of the subjects okay so the reason for making this video is if you have plans of just qualifying the exam okay nimage nimmashtu mel confidence irlilla ma'am nan 50 athwa 55 marks togolak agudilla na qualify adra saaku because i want to do and i don't want i want to do mtech and i don't want to be burden on my parents anuditandra you can just think of qualifying marks 
and you can prepare only aptitude engineering mathematics environmental engineering geotechnical engineering surveying that's it even if you prepare these subjects you are preparing more than 55 marks out of 100 and definitely if you prepare for 55 marks then there are high chances that you will score somewhere around 30 marks that is you will qualify gate exam so in our sandpoint institute also we are providing the online recorded classes for this and we have made two different packages one package is for the qualifying students okay where the fee structure is very less for that and the another package is for the students who want to prepare for entire 100 marks okay so if you join the course right now so you will be getting test series pdf materials video lectures of entire gate course and if you start preparing now even if you devote one month one entire month for just one subject your syllabus will get over till you write gate exam in next february and i will be there with you in the beginning like i'll discuss the strategy over google meet and i'll give you the preparation schedule for one year and also we have to give the revision time in the month of jan like one month is needed for revision for gate exam so all the study schedule and everything i will be discussing in the beginning so if you prepare accordingly then definitely you will score really well so do not assume yourself like you are having one year time because see everyone knows gate is one of the difficult exams so if you start right now because nim gate bariyuda itto qualify aguda ittandra then do not delay in taking the decision so join now discuss with me i'll make the study schedule and start preparing genuinely and put your 100% efforts and you can take the benefits of all these whichever i had discussed earlier all right in the upcoming days and all i will be discussing about paper pattern and all all these are not needed now because still there is time again i'll be making lot of videos with respect to gate exam so you keep following and even if you want to know the information then you can just visit gate playlist of our youtube channel and get all the information okay because uh, i am telling you like our students whoever have qualified gate exam and they have done mtech already but the gate result is valid for three years i told you so the validity got over now of the gate result so again they want to write gate exam because they want to do phd in iits and nits okay so it all benefits are so there is no harm in trying for gate exam and you will be strong very much technically all right and now coming to pgct exam so illa namge the difficult aagtate namu kashta aagtate annodittu andra then you can and if you want to compromise yourself like i don't want to have like iit and nit and tag something like that see it's individual interest i am a teacher i am here to give the best information for the students but ultimately decision making is left to you all right so nimge idella agudilla nu angittu andra then you can write pgct exam so the students whoever are there in final year so you are in 7th sem now so you will be writing your semester end exam now very soon okay so nimge next semester end exam aithe so after that soon after semester end exam if you start preparing for pgct then it will be really good for you because pgct exam notification will come in the month of july something like that and the exam will be in the month of august september something like that first week of september okay so from today you are having somewhere around 5 months time for pgct and again the syllabus is only like civil engineering subjects will be there in pgct it is the syllabus is available in our website also you can check and even you can check the youtube videos of our pgct playlist so you will get lot of information about pgct like paper pattern and all so again further like next month or something i will be discussing about paper pattern the main purpose of making this video is to make you aware okay nimaga mundind gotirbeku like yavag notification barutte yavag exam aagtate yakandre aa time daga students will once the notification happens only one month will be there that time the student will th- start preparing for the exam see ultimately when you want to do mtech when you want to go for mtech then obviously if you take the decision little early then your result will come very good then only you will get the best colleges in karnataka you prepare all in andre then you will get some xyz college and if you get if you do mtech in such colleges that will not have any such benefits rather than just calling yourself like i am a mtech degree holder adan bitra nimage enu benefit irodilla so if you want to do mtech in premier institutes in karnataka then obviously your rank should come really good 
ओके सो फॉर टू गेट अ वेरी गुड यांक ऑब्विस्ली यू हॅव टू स्टार्ट प्रिपेअरिंग सो इन तर फाईव्ह मंथ्स टाईम आहे ती सो यू कॅन थिंक ऑफ जॉईनिंग सॅम पॉईंट कोर्स फॉर पी जी सी टी ऑल्सो अवर पी जी सी टी कोर्स इज एंटायरली डिफरंट अवर सॅम गेट कोर्स इज एंटायरली डिफरंट वॉट एव्हर वी हॅव प्रोवायडेड इव्हन द टेस्ट सिरीज आर ऑल्सो डिफरंट सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू जॉईन फॉर पी जी सी टी यू कॅन जॉईन नाव ओनली बिकॉज इव्हन इफ यू जॉईन टुडे इव्हन इफ यू जॉईन नेक्स्ट मंथ द फी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दॅट रिमेन्स सेम अँड अगेन सेम वे आय विल बी मेकिंग अ प्रिपरेशन शेड्यूल फॉर पी जी सी टी ऑल्सो हू इव्हन यू जॉईन सो इफ यू स्टार्ट प्रिपेअरिंग नाव बिकॉज नाव यू आर हॅविंग द सेमिस्टर अँड एक्झाम समथिंग लाईक दॅट सो इफ यू जॉईन द कोर्स आफ्टर दॅट दॅन यू कॅन मॅनेज व्हेरी नाईसली द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ दिस लाईक स्लोली अँड अलॉंग विथ दॅट यू कॅन डू युअर फायनल एट्थ सेम प्रोजेक्ट वर्क ऑल्सो ऑल राईट सो दिस इज वॉट आय वॉन्टेड टू एक्सप्लेन इन टुडेज व्हिडिओ सो इफ यू गाईज आर प्लॅनिंग फॉर going m tech then obviously you have to start your journey right now because it's better for you if you join as early as possible and start preparing because i told you like gate exam every marks whatever you score if you score 60 plus marks 65 plus marks it is having its own advantages like psus iisc iits and all if you score 45 50 marks then nits are there if you just qualify then our other colleges in karnataka are there so it's on you now how much marks you want to score so new obviously h marks you score maad be kankond idira andre then obviously you need to start preparing as early as possible so take the decision and start your journey with sandpoint by clicking the link in the description all the best